Well, if you're just waking up, let's get a check of some of the top headlines this Monday morning. We're getting a look at the crash that shut down Highway 65 in Searcy County for hours on Sunday. A car collided head on with a motorhome south of Leslie. Several people were trapped and had to be freed by rescue workers. At least three helicopters airlifted injured people to hospitals. A candlelight vigil was held last night in Burbank, California to honor the life of Helena Hutchins. She's a cinematographer who was killed when actor Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun on a New Mexico movie set. Friends, fellow union members and others who work in the movie industry attended the vigil. Although the vigil is meant to honor Hutchins life, it's also sparking conversation on safety protocols on film sets as a result of the accident. Ed Sheeran says he's tested positive for COVID-19. The singer was supposed to be the next musical guest on Saturday Night Live on the November 6 show that's less than two weeks away. SNL has not said if it will replace him or if he will perform virtually. The singer says he is self quarantining right now. Sheeran didn't mention whether he was vaccinated in his post on social media. James Michael Tyler, the actor known widely for his recurring role as Gunther on Friends, has died. Tyler's manager says he died Sunday after a battle with prostate cancer. He was first diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer in 2018. Over the show's multi-year run, he became the most frequently recurring guest star on the series. He was 59 years old. And the Hot Springs community is mourning the loss of a local legend. Dick Antoine passed away Sunday after a long battle with cancer. Antoine was known as the world's tallest leprechaun and was a founding member and staple of Hot Springs annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. He was also the longtime host of the Talk of the Town morning show on KZNG Radio in Hot Springs. That's some of the top stories for this Monday morning.